everyone, it's Ketchy, aka OBGEM. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified of all future videos. And if you like what you see, please do hit the like button so I know to keep making content like this. So, we are here with a little showcase. I haven't done one of these on my channel just because I tend to get overwhelmed with showcasing CC items because I have so much of it. It's the reason why I honestly don't do as many create -a sim videos as I probably might like to. And that's because I feel the immense pressure to link all the links for the CC and it just ends up being so time consuming on top of the amount of time and effort that goes into make videos. That's a lot of times sometimes I'll just do a create -a sim video. To showcase characters in my LP and I just won't show the CC links because it's too much. So I honestly want to try doing something to kind of supplement the fact that I don't link CC as much as I probably should and maybe once or twice a month do these showcases for CC that I use often that you guys might like. And I especially want to do this because every so often I'll get comments of people asking, you know, what skin detail did you use there? What, you know, eyelash or whatnot did you use there and sometimes I'll remember to come back and look and, and give the information sometimes I for I'll forget so it'll be good to just have videos to reference and say hey I used X skin tone overlay that I showcased in this video so hopefully you guys will enjoy that but I do have our two models here who are going to be helping us showcase the skin overlay so that's what the focus of this video is going to be in the showcase my most commonly used skin overlays for male and female sims. I will probably pop on the screen right now the number of skin overlays because I honestly am just doing this on the fly. I don't know how many I'm going to show you, but I'll pop that here. And these are the most commonly or my favorite skin overlays to use for my male and female sims. For our models who are going to help me showcase these skin details, we have Ariel Winters and over here we have her male model Delvin Lowry. Um, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you might recognize these sims because I used them in my diverse lookbook that I did when we were all clamoring for more skin tone representation. I also showcased them in my Snowy Escape lookbook from right it was either right before or right after that pack came out. So you would have had to have been here with me on this channel quite a while to have seen those videos because that is a throwback to a throwback. But that aside, I'm going to go ahead and start out and show you guys my favorite female skin overlays and then we will jump over to the males and if you notice in the next shot that they are scalped that is just because I might have taken off a bunch of their hairs just so you can see the skin better. You'll see. <laughs> Let's get into it. So the very first skin overlay that I like to use for my sims in game is Cicada. So the thing I like, and I just put that on for you guys just so you guys know. So the thing I like the most about this skin detail is that if you want something that is a very maxes match, but just like elevated, I feel like this is very that. So I'll oftentimes when I'm doing towny makeovers, I will use this skin on them because it kind of gives them like an elevated maxes match look. And because I have a default replacement uh, skin for my sim, it sims it just gives it like an extra jizz. Just in case you guys are wondering, the default replacement skin I use on my sims is the, I think it's the water lilies. If not, I'll pop what that is in the corner in case you guys want to know what that is, which is, is nice. But this, like, I still like to use skin overlays to give it a little bit extra. So I think Cicada really does that. So that's, it just comes in these two swatches. One is just regular, and I believe the next one is just like a mono lid. Yeah, it's a mono lid. So it just comes in these two. Um, the only drawback of this one is because it's just like one general skin. If your sim ages up into an elder and you want them to look a little bit older, you're going to probably have to add additional skin details. I don't know how well this stacks. Okay, so you're just going to have to like judge around uh, what skin details you could stack onto this to give it another look or have to use another one because this is really just for like young adults and teens because it doesn't really have a wrinkled swatch which I wish more skin overlays had that so that you could kind of keep the, the same skin overlay through their age groups but to take what you can take in this game. 
And so the second skin overlay I like to use, and this is still in the realm of very Max's match, is a Fleur. So that's this one right here. So again, this is kind of like a judged up Max's match look. It's got a little bit of more highlighting in the nose area you can see already right there. And it has a little bit more in the lip crease area. Um, I don't know, there's some skin details you could add that gives like this lip crease, but I honestly like if I want that look, I'll like to use a skin overlay that just has that because it's less skin details to have to stack onto this sim. And so this is really great for that. And then this one gives the, it has like a freckle overlay, which is, I like skin overlays that have like this option too, because like I said, the less skin details you have to stack, the better because once you start stacking too many you'll start to get complex where certain ones stack in like the same slot so they start to like cancel the other one out if you add one that stacks the same way another so it's always nice to have an overlay that has additional details like freckles so that you don't have to worry about stacking conflicts the next one overlay i am going to showcase for you is gaia and this is another one again that's like a really good if you just want like an elevated max's match look then Gaia can give you that. I like that this one has like a little bit of a shimmer on the lip. And I, I don't know, I like this one for my broader nose sim, so my, my sims of color. Because I, I think with this overlay, it kind of makes the nose a little bit more prominent, which I definitely enjoy. This one only comes in two, so it's just the regular swatch and then the mono lid. Or is it? No, the second swatch is not a monolith. The second swatch is like just deeper, like a slight deepening of the eye bags. So if you want your, your sin to have a slightly more weathered look, then you might want to go with the second swatch. No wrinkles for this one. Again, I wish more skin overlays had like a swatch that will allow you just like add additional wrinkles so that you can use the same overlay throughout their age range and not have to switch to one that has one. But that is the Gaia overlay. This next overlay is Tulip. I love Tulip. I especially love Tulip for my Sims of Color, specifically Black Sims, because I think this um, overlay just really complements Black features. It's so pretty and it has elements of some of the other overlays I just showed you all into one and just like extra judged up so this one I think really prominently showcases the nose like so it makes the nose look very strong and very just very prominent and this one also has the little like lip creases like the one I was showing you in one of the previous overlays this has that too and the other thing that I like about Tulip is that Tulip has so many different swatches for you to kind of change up how this general default look looks to kind of give varied looks using this same overlay. So if you click this one, you can see it's it, it, like this makes it so that it just you never have to use another overlay, which I, I appreciate about this because sometimes with certain overlays, you have to use the overlay, you got to use like a nose mask, you got to use freckle details and mole details this one has like almost any combination that you can think of that you might want to put together from a bunch of different skin details all in one so this one you could see it's that same look but it changed the look of the nose so it's like it added a nose mask for this one you, you change the swatch again and it changes the shape of the nose this one has like prominent cheekbones which are so pretty i love it so as far as like just Max's match skin overlays that you can just throw onto a sim to look really nice. I think that Privé by La Matisse is perfect for that. So this is honestly just like a one size fits all. There's no additional swatches. You just put this on or you don't. So you know this is it with it off. This is it with it on. And then that's it. There's no wrinkle swatches. There's no variations. This is just it. So this is actually another good one. If you just want to throw it on to like a townie to make it, them look a little bit better in your world, especially if you have a bunch of sims that you've made yourself that you plopped in a couple of houses and you just kind of want your sims to look a little bit more uniform. So this is Strudel and it is also by La Matisse, but this one gives you a little bit more options to me. This is like, if you just want something really basic you can throw on without having to do anything additional to it, then use 
Purve, but if you want something with a little bit more options, then I'd say use Strudel. So as you can see, it looks very similar to Purve. The only difference that I can tell is there's a little bit more highlighting all around the nose and the lips, and this one has a little bit more prominence in the eye bag area, which is nice. And so it has two additional variations outside of this default one. This one you could see that in the cheek area there's a little bit more highlighting there so if you want the cheeks to look a little bit more full and rounded you could go with that option and then this laps option there is a whole lot more highlighting around the entire face there's less shadows so if you want something a little bit more stripped down of this version then you might want to go with this swatch. So this is Nancy Boy, and I like to use Nancy Boy if I want something that looks a little bit like ugly pretty. I know that seems weird to say, but as you can see, the thumbnail of Nancy Boy is over here, and sometimes you want, sometimes I get stuck when I'm making Sims and they all end up looking the same, so I want to throw something that's a little bit odd looking into the mix to just for a little bit of variation, I think. Nancy Boy kind of does that quite well. Uh, it kind of like remind like it reminds me a little bit of tulip, but a little bit less of a hard edge. I feel like tulip is very like angular, and it has some angles, but like they're rounded angles in it. I, I don't know if that makes sense, <laughs> but as you can see, like um, Nancy Boy kind of is like to me like a, like a toned down tulip. So I like to use this one quite a bit. So this is Dakota, and this is another one of those one and dones. There's no additional swatches, but I like to use this especially on my black sims because it gives like really good like definition around the lips. I'm pretty sure this would work just fine if you have like a non-black sim, but like to me, like sometimes it's hard to have your sims have like a good texture on their lips when they're dark skin. So like just to show you, like this is the just just my default replacement skin on there and like the lips I feel like never like look right <laughs> if you're not using any CC as far as like your sim it's just got like this weird like glow to them and they just like they look a little bit play-doh-y so when you throw something like a Dakota on now you've got some you know highlighting and definition and that and the, the thing I like about this outside of this texture the texture on the lips is it's like a slight like texture on the face like there's something a little bit a little bit real <laughs> about it but like it's still like I play very Max's mix with how I like to style my sim so this may be a little bit over the edge if you play very Max's match so this is Hazel and this feels like it's a combination of a lot of <laughs> Some of the other ones I like. It's got the highlighting on the nose, little lip creases, the texture on the lips. The only thing it's missing is like an option for a definition for like cheekbones. But like if you're not looking for that look, it's got a lot of the elements from the previous overlays that I like all in one. Um, this one is more Max's match than Dakota was, so it's kind of like if you want a more Max's match. Dakota then I would say go with Hazel. This is another one and done swatch. There's no additional swatches but this is a modern love. The thing I love about this one the most is the highlighting. So if you want something that's got like a whole lot of like highlights on the lips and the eyes so that's something unique to this overlay that I haven't really showcased in any other overlays. A lot of the other ones will have like highlighting on the nose or the lips. This one is like the first one I've seen that's got highlighting on the eyelids. So and actually like just to give you like an idea of like what this looks like in game I believe I use modern love on Julian Tinker and my not so very let's play so if you're wondering how he got the look he has he has this overlay right here so I had to showcase this one this is Rosewater by La Matisse and this one, obviously, I feel like La Matisse's overlays all have like similar signature to them. Like, you know, it's a La Matisse overlay when you see it because her overlays tend to have a whole lot of shading around the, you know, the outside of the face and inside of the cheek. And they tend to have pretty good texture on the lips. But the, one, the reason why I definitely had to showcase this particular overlay is because Rosewater is one that you can really just throw this on your sim and they can have it as a teen, they can have it as a young adult, or they can have it as an elder. And that is because in these um, bottom swatches over here, 
you've got oh not that one <laughs> let me cycle through a little bit and and some of these um swatches on the back end of this you've got wrinkles so as you can see right here uh little ariel just looks like she aged up to an elder with this swatch right here she's got some lines on her forehead some crow's nest near the eyes a little bit more deeper folds around the nose going into the mouth area just to make them look a little bit older um, as opposed to you know how the game has our elders look <laughs> it's, a, it's a little much for me so this is Josie and this is like the first overlay I'm showing you that by default got some moles on it and like I said I like a good overlay that has additional skin details on there because then you don't have to stack or chance trying to stack a bunch of different skin details that might not all stay on because they cancel each other out so this one's got like a couple of moles around the eyes and on the cheeks and it's got really good texture on the lips like you know you guys know I enjoy so let me see it's just, it's got a couple different swatches so as you can see this one has less texture on the lips if you don't like that so this is afterglow and I honestly tend to not use afterglow as an overlay on its own and that's because afterglow tends to stack really well with other overlays so I like to use this one specifically because of the highlighting on the nose and around the mouth area but even more than that it's the eye bag area so I might use this if I want that highlighting in some um, you know a little bit more deeper eye bags and then I'll stack it with something else just because I think afterglow is better if it's not standalone it does have a little bit more of swatching so as you can see that one gives you a slightly different cheek shape this one deeper eye bags around the eyes so now we are in more in the realm of more towards like Alfie Maxis mix for me anyway and this is Praline's face skin collection they got a couple different face overlays this is just the one I use the most and that is because it's got different layers that are different ranges of extreme like this one is kind of the heaviest one i think as far as like alpha i don't tend to use this one well i don't tend to use this overlay by itself to be honest with you i like to use this one like layered with like i said with afterglow maybe i might pair it with something like that or maybe even something else but this one tends to stack well with the other ones if you want something i tend to like to use this one the most on my male sims just so that i can get like a stronger jaw look because the, because this skin overlay skews alpha a little bit more it kind of gives up more prominent definition as far as like jaw lines and things like that so there's a bunch of different swatches for this one i'm just gonna cycle through that's very very heavy that one but um i actually like to use this one on the end the most because it, as you can see this one's the lightest and i'll use it because this one will stack very well with like a different one so this is another praline skin this is the aura skin overlay this one i do like to use quite a bit on my black sims and i believe it's one of my favorite ones because it's well, i believe it's full body let me go ahead and we'll switch her into something that you guys can see that a little bit more oh honey this this, uh, this, this outfit <laughs> but okay but anyway as you can see this is a full body one so like that's the thing i like a lot about using overlay skew with a bit more alpha is they tend to be full body what that means is that when you see your sim a full body and say like a swimsuit like this you'll notice that their full body skin looks a bit different if you look in the torso area you can see that she has a little bit more definition in her abs it looks like this one's got like um or maybe it's just my screen it looks like this one might have some stretch marks i don't know i don't think so but i do have ones that do that but you can see like that the belly button looks a bit different some of them you can even like look and you'll see some differences in the leg area it just depends on the overlay that you're using but for this one it's definitely a full body one so this skin tone leans alpha too. I honestly don't like to use this quite a bit because it adds like this this glowing sheen to the like when I talk about like melanin popping, melanin glowing, 
this is what we're talking about right here but this i, I honestly I, i'm it's hard for me to read the name of this skin overlay on this on this thumbnail here so i'm gonna have to pop that with this skin overlay is called on the screen right here i'll get that for you don't worry we're good we're good we're, we're good we're gucci on this one we'll, we'll figure that one out but um this one it though is one of those ones where when you pop it on it does make the skin tone a little bit darker so like this is specifically for darker skinned sims so i wouldn't recommend you use this on like a lighter toned sim unless you want them to have like i guess a tanner look i don't know i don't know if i've ever experienced using this overlay on a lighter skin sim so that'll be interesting to see so this is the very last skin overlay i'm going to showcase for the female side this one is Merci Skin N7 Overlay by Merci. <laughs> and um, the thing I like the most about this skin overlay is one, that it's full body. So if you, if you zoom out, you can see that it kind of changes the way the full body of the skin looks, which I love me a good full body skin overlay. But this one also has like darker, like I like more darker prominent eye bags. So if you and it's got them, it's got those lip creases too at the corner too. So if you want something that does that and is a full body overlay, this is really good for that. And it stacks really well with other skin overlays if you want to kind of like blend the two together. That's really good for that. But the further in you go, the skin tone does get a little bit darker. So if you, ha again, have a sim that you really want them to have a specific skin tone, you may not want to use this one because unless you use, like, I think this is the only one that, like, let me take this off and just see. So it makes it a little bit darker with this on versus it off, but if you want to be as close to your skin tone as possible and you want to use this, I'd say just use this one. But if you don't mind your sim skin getting a little bit darker, and a little bit golden brown as we go in then I definitely would recommend using this one just because I think that the just like the, the, the tone of this overlay just makes the black skin look very pretty.